Western forms of urbanization have failed us, particularly in what relates to the environment and to climate. My name is Guto Ferreira Pereira. I'm the course leader for Environmental Architecture MA at the School of Architecture and the Royal College of Art. My work for the past few years has been focusing on trying to understand what is architecture's contribution and potential impact in addressing the dramatic changes in modes of coexistence that are undergoing across the world. This is a result of climate change, but not only climate change, it's a result of environmental change and the impacts of environmental transformation of the earth. So my entire work, both academic and non-academic, is trying always to understand what can architecture contribute in here. Militancy is a very important thing. By the word militancy, I would mean a constant commitment for pursuing a line of questioning around architecture and environmental disputes and environmental change. I recall once being in practice here in the UK, and I was always interested to some degree in questions that have to do with ecology and environment. But actually noticing a huge difference and distance between the way that those questions were filtered through the architectural profession and the types of problems that they refer to in the world. So it's that space in between the sustainability of the building and the built environment and the actual impact that that built object has in the world is the thing that made me figure out, wait, there's something in practice that is limiting me. There's something in the established structures of production of the built environment that at the moment is actively playing against addressing environmental questions through architecture. That forced me to start doing work that is non-academic and activism that is in academia, trying to push and change the nature of the conversation. The entirety of our architecture education is incredibly complex morally because there's not a single decision in terms of the way that you design cities today that is not produced out of very cynical calculations of real estate and land value uh, and we're thinking about cities. The tools of architecture, the tools of analysis and of representation could have an immense impact in the world today. The tools of video recording, of filmmaking, of drawing, of model making are incredibly important to capture power relations and power struggles and very violent modes of existence uh, that characterize the world. The potential impact that the tools of architecture can have for the production of evidence within legal forums or within public forums or within, let's say, an artistic forum, if it's the case of an exhibition. The amazing role that remote sensing tools can have in understanding the larger scale territorial role of architecture. Uh, they allow us to see a series of things that normally you would not be able to see. And they allow us to see the impacts of architecture, of urbanization, of territorial transformations at the distance. I think we have to recognize that we're in a shift in academia by which students are at a much higher pace than institutions pressing for change. They're pressing for change in terms of de demanding new courses and courses like this. They're pressing for change demanding that the entirety of academic institutions changes their curriculums be with an awareness not only of environmental and climatic questions as topics, but also as methods. I think the thing that is more exciting for me is realizing how 20 years ago I had very few people to speak with in terms of environmental questions and architecture. And what you find today is that we're many and we're gaining an ability to shift the discourse of architecture and to shift the possibilities of impacting the ways in which we inhabit the planet. There's nothing more exciting than that, to realize how a course such as this can have such an immense impact and can allow a much more serious engagement with the world through architecture.